On the other, when you go back several weeks and the, the unbeaten run first started out, it felt like there was sort of no movement from those 12th, 11th positions in the table. And despite recent results, now it's sixth place in a playoff spot and a challenge really to embrace that you would have taken. Yeah, very much so. I mean, obviously, because the, the last two results, you can get caught up in the moment and um, psychologically, it, you feel on a on a, on a downer. Um, but you know, if you'd have said six to eight weeks ago we'd be in this position, we'd we'd have I think we'd have all have taken it. So um, we've got four games to go. We've got to improve upon what we've shown in the last two games, um, particularly in the final third. Lots of our play's been good up until a certain point, um, and that's the challenge. We've got to learn. We've got to learn quickly. The results are king at this stage of the season, so um, sometimes you sacrifice elements of the performance if you get the result because um, there's less time to work on things in training and less time to work on that during the course of the season because now we're only, you know, we're at the, the business end of the season. But it's a great challenge and it's a, an exciting four games to look forward to. You mentioned exciting four games. This is obviously a, a really good one against Sunderland. It was. 10 days ago, in terms of that, it was fine margins, wasn't it? Did you expect it to be the same again? I think that sort of, again, sums up this division. That, that There's been some strange results recently. Uh, maybe, I, I can't speak for other teams, but maybe tiredness and the schedule, etc. We, we haven't had that. Um, there's been very fine margins in our games, particularly recently. And you know, if you're not concentrated, you're not focused, um, then teams are teams are good enough to punish you, um, and we just it's just come we just fell on the wrong side of that line in the last couple of games, um, but there's no way no better way of bouncing back than playing Sunderland the way, um, you know, a terrific game for us to look forward to, and you know it was only a week or so ago we, we came off a really good performance and a positive result against them, so they'll be hurting from that. They won't want us to go up there and do the double over them in the space of you know ten days. Um, so, so what a great game to look forward to. We've said on previous occasions it's always these games at the top end of the division that have brought the best out of your side. Yeah, our record against the top teams this season has been outstanding, really, uh, barring Lincoln. And I think we were unfortunate in both of them games we played against them. Um, we, we've got a good record against the top teams. Um, it, we rise to the to that challenge, um, and there's no reason to doubt why the players won't be able to do that again tomorrow night. Tough game, obviously, away from home against a top team, but um, I say we've done it so far this season. Um, yeah, I'm really intrigued to see if we can uh, go and uh, maintain that again. Kevin Stewart was able to join in with the team for a session after the game on Saturday. Does he come into contention this week? Hopefully, yeah, he trained last week. Um, he's had no um, no ill effects from the training he's done. So if he trains again today, hopefully we can include him in the squad tomorrow. Um, obviously, Elliot can't be involved, um, so that's a natural change that we'll have to make anyway. But the squad will be very similar to what it's been for the last few games. Is he at a point where you think he'd be fine if he had to go in at any stage? Because even when he missed a pre-season and signed for the club late, he went straight in and performed brilliantly, didn't he? Yeah, and that, that's Kev for you. That's all you need to know about him as a person and as a professional. Um, he's been pushing himself to get back as quickly as possible. He's desperate to be involved, loves to play, wants to play, looks after himself unbelievably well. You know, um, He is the consummate professional um, and I wouldn't have any hesitation about uh, putting him into a game and starting him in a game like this. And he has the sort of experience for this time of the season as yeah. well, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, he does, yeah. Um, I think that's important that you know, that those senior players, whether in the team or without the team, they help everyone. Um, we've got a relatively youngish group. Um, not everyone, but um, it's, some of them are maybe new to this type of situation and, and it's important that um, we all help each other. Um, we're all in it together um, and we're all to here for, you know, for to do the best we can for, the, for Blackpool. And, We've we've made a decent job of it so far, but um, we, we've got a little bit to do yet. Barry Elliott missing, are you expecting everything else to be otherwise the same? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I say there's no injury problems from the from the game at the weekend. Um, other than Kev, um, no one will be 
um, back imminently. Although Keshi, we're hoping will start to train this week, and Gary, we can push maybe further, uh, further on from what he was producing last week, which was back on the grass and running and a bit of ball work. Um, so, yeah, they're, they're the only ones that will be somewhere near in the next week to ten days.